Hey, it's Sandy, and today I'm going to show you how to create this super cute and easy panda design. Keep watching and I'll also show you how to easily give him a fuzzy textured look. Let's begin with a base coat to protect our natural nails. This will also provide a perfect base to adhere polish over. Next, use a black polish to paint your pinky finger and also your ring finger. Black polish is usually already very opaque on its first coat, but adding a second coat over it will really intensify the color and give it a completed look. Next, use a white polish to paint the remaining three fingers on each hand. Again, it's important to do two coats on each nail. Once you're finished, give it a few minutes to dry. On the index finger, use a black polish to create a swipe across the nail and then fill in the shape. If you get any on your skin, don't worry about it. Just remove it quickly with a nail. Next, you will need a black striper. As you pull out the brush, wipe off each side to remove excess polish. This is an important step because we don't want too much polish on the brush for the upcoming technique. So to make the black part fuzzy, you need to lightly dab the brush and make tiny strokes where the black meets the white. Take your time while you do this and try to make them similar in length. This is actually really fun to do. Then on the pinky finger, do the reverse. Swipe the white across the nail and fill it in. Then use the black striper to make the black part fuzzy again. Always angle the brush so it's facing away from the black part. Now for the panda face. Begin by using a toothpick and black polish to create a round ear. Then create an oval for an eye. Don't worry about having clean lines. That's the beauty of this design. We're going to make it all fuzzy after so you can be a little messy. Go ahead and create another eye and another ear. I like to make the bottom of this ear straight. Then go in and do a long rectangle for the nose. Now it's time for my favorite part again, making everything fuzzy. Go in with a striper and just have some fun. Remember to keep the strokes short and thin and always angle your brush away from the black, which means you're going to be moving your hand around a lot for each section. Finish the design by adding a small short vertical line under the nose and then connect two curved lines for the mouth. Finish off with a fast drying top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. Where this design is black on white, it's very prone to smudging. So because of this, I've linked a video on how to avoid smudging your nail art in the description box to help you out. And that's it! If you decide to give this design a try, please share your recreations with me on Twitter and Instagram using the hashtag CutePolish so I can find them. Take care, and I'll see you next time!